Hello, it's me again, and uh, today we're going to look at the British Grenadiers box for Conflict 47. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to open it up. There we go. Dispose of the packaging in a friendly, environmentally friendly manner. And see what we've got. Oh, okay. That I was not expecting. Right. Okay. So, the British Conflict, the British Grenadier set actually looks like it's the British infantry bo uh, infantry sprue with British infantry weapons and some and some metal components. Right. Okay. So they're not actually fully original models. Right. Okay. Well. So let's have a let's stop and let's have a, a closer look at them, shall we? Now. Get two of these, two British Grenad uh, British infantry sprues. Now, they're standard uh, Warlord sprue, and I wasn't going to do a review on the British infantry sprue, but they seem to be coming popping up all over the place. They popped up in the starter box there, and they're popping up in this one. So I think it's probably best if we go through that first, shall we? So we'll do that. On the sprue, you get five. We'll just turn them around to face here. Five guys. You get. Ooh, camera's having trouble. There we go. You get five guys. Now you get five, st four standing up poses, and a torso, which I believe has. Yes, there it is. The two two le kneeling down legs go with the half with the torso. Um, and they're pretty, they're pretty good detail for what they are. And then they're, they're as a box, the British British infantry are quite a good value for money box. Um, and you've got your canteens and your gas mask canisters. And there's at the top there's some backpacks with um, with uh, the one's got a three inch. Uh, small a two inch mortar that's what it is two inch mortar and there's some um, some cups and things on there as well so the backs of the infantry model they're, they're kind of standard but again you get you get the good detail on there um they come with head uh, helmets and you get a few with the like the camouflage strips on and a few which are one which is completely smooth and the other which has like a Assume that's some type of webbing on it, um, and we get six helmets for five guys. So you'll end up with a helmet left, and then you end up with a load of faces, which are very familiar to me because the commandos box uses the majority of the stuff on this sprue. The backpacks are different, and it comes it comes in some berets as well. But the f the faces here are very well, let's just say my entire bolt action and conflict forty seven army will have the same faces um if you look close enough so yeah i mean they're they're nice they're nice detail they're not that hard to paint um and it's and you get a selection um now all these hands they all correspond to the weapons and it comes with a sheet so I'll just go through that in a minute. Let's have a look at these other bits. So like I say, you have the backpacks. The only problem I have with these backpacks, they seem to have an abnormally, they have a large number of mold lines on the, on the side. Um, for some reason, it's just the backpacks. I don't know why that is. Um, it's, 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 a, it's not nothing really bad. It's just I need, you just need to clean them up a bit more. Um... Yeah, now the arms themselves. Now these arms, 
correlate, if you look at this sheet, crib sheet that comes with the box, it actually tells you, well that's the, there we go, wrong way. There you go, crib sheet tells you which arms are for which guns. Yep, so you have the ones for like the pistols, um, and, and the SMGs and the rifles, you've got the rifle standing, the rifle firings, firing, um, you've got, there's a there's one there for a pistol which can be used for a SMG as well. You've got a holding one which means you can um, hold your LMG in one hand and run with the other. Uh, I think I've got one like that but I can't, I haven't got it to hand so. Um, and things like that so. And here's some examples at the top. So you've got, so there you go, you've got the guy with the pistol and pointing arm. Um, you got, that's the LMG that comes with it. So, uh, you've got the guy with the rifle, you've got a hand holding a grenade, but you get, I think you get a few grenades in the weapon sprue, which we'll have a look at in a minute. You get picks um, with rifles, and that's the guy holding the mortar. And you see that guy there's got the, the uh, two inch mortar on his backpack. So it's a very versatile kit. You can make them make a lot of people in whichever way you want, um, just to customize your army basically. And these are the weapons. Again, if you, if you turn this over, it tells you what the weapons are. And there are some more examples, painted examples in this case, down the bottom. Yep, I actually prefer the Sten guns. I know historically they were probably weren't the best SMG, but I, uh, I like the Sten guns. <clears throat> so here we go. On the on the weapon sprue, you get a few Tommy guns. Um, you get some rifles with some bayonets. I think there's some more rifles at the top. Yes, there's some more rifles at the other end. Um, so you got three rifles without scope, and you got a rifle with scope. I use that for my sniper. Um, that is a Piat um, uh, round. You get some extra ammunition belts, and that one there is the LMG um, ammo. Well, LMG like ex additional um, muzzle and things like that. So you put that on your loader or something to indicate it's a loader. That's the mortar there at the side. That one there is the Piat. I've actually got a lot of Piats in my army for Conflict 47 because the Brits can get four in the Defiant in the Defiant book with the different army selections. The Brits can use four of them. Now these are the Sten guns. I like the Sten guns. Um, when I try to use SMGs, I always try and use the Sten guns rather than the Tommies. Um, some additional pouches. So, like I say, you have got some grenades there uh, with some binoculars. It's all very, very, uh, very detailed as well. You got uh, pistols. Now that centre pistol fits in one of the hands on the the actual man sprue. So you can have you can chop an arm, a hand off one of the arms and use that, or you can uh, put the pistol in this other hand, in in the in the hand that's meant for it. Uh, and then we're back to the LMG. And the two S the Tommy guns SMGs. Okay, okay. See that there is the Piat um, bomb case. So that's for the additional guy that goes with him. And then you've got three shovels to uh, decorate your guys with. So overall, a very spares heavy part for for this. But your grenadiers can actually be armed with rifles and and some N SMGs. So they can actually be armed like the old British. The older British um, kits, but the real reason to have these are the, these weapons, aren't they? So let's go on to the weapons. So, packed for you by Vass. That's a new name. I haven't, I haven't had one by, by Vass yet, so thank you Vass. So here, we have, okay, so we have one pot box of Tesla rifle, that's the ammo, and that is the assault rifle with an underslung grenade launcher. And we've got three 
assault rifles. Got two more assault rifles. And two more assault rifles. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, ten. So that's ten guys in total, which is what we've got. And two, four, six, eight, ten hats. Heads with hats. Um, as these guys have got infrared vision, they've got all got goggles and things like that. So, yeah. This is the bit you want to see. You have a Tesla gun there on the end. That's a Tesla gun. That's the loader's ammunition. So you'll be carrying that instead of firing a gun. And that is the assault rifle with an underslung grenade launcher. Now, I thought, I believe that actually you can get two of those, two Tesla guns in a squad. I don't know why they don't provide two. Um, and you can actually get three underslung grenade launchers but I don't know why they don't supply more than one and there's no option to purchase extra so you can actually um I don't know how you're going to actually get them I, until Warlord actually start making them and, and selling them I don't know how um I was actually this is my actually my um, second box I was actually quite lucky on my first one I seem to have got a a miss counted um box and actually got two teslas in it so yeah so that's that's that um now these are the assault rifles that they get you can upgrade them to assault rifles and you get enough to upgrade the entire squad i will be putting assault rifles on as many as possible after the teslas i'll see if i can get hold of another tesla though um and loader box though the loader box isn't quite so important so again they're quite quite good detail um, not a huge amount of mold lines on it there is a bit there are a few mold lines but nothing major um, and they all seem to be quite quite good um, I know they they all look to be in the same position and they are but the different position bodies actually make it make them look quite a bit different um, and then you've got you've got another two uh, four of those so that's ten in total um, and then you get the heads now I don't think you get that many different heads I think yes yeah, so they're the same well, they're not. Yeah, I think there's only four different heads. As far as I can tell. But you have a set which have the infrared goggles up. And a set which they're down. As you can see, they are quite good. De good detail not very much flash there's, there's a bit of flash on the back but what you gotta watch out for is there's a massive mold line straight down their head yep compared to the side of the size of this part there's a massive there's a big mold line down the middle so you got to be careful try not to uh, when you get rid try not to shave half the helmet off if you do you can just have to build it up with a bit of green stuff so that is the British Grenadiers set? I think overall, I was I was a bit surprised about the British Infantry box, uh, British Infantry sprues. I thought they were whole uh, models, but obviously not. It's not not the end of the world. Um, I think it's it's good. It's it's actually good um, practice. Use what you can, reuse what you can. It's not a problem with it. Um, but it's not advertised very advertised very um, clearly is it so oh, it actually says on the box teach me not to read the box won't it so um, so yeah so I, I like these bot this these troops um, in game they they kind of they, they kind of fit with the 
with the actual theme behind Conflict 47. Um, and my view is you go, if you, 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 you start Conflict 47, it's my view that it's, you get the most out of it if you go fully Conflict 47 and use as many Conflict 47 units as you can. That's why I've got the Hornets, uh, I've got some Coyotes, or a coyote. I've got the um, the Cromwell. I've got some heavy infantry. I've got um, automated infantry, and now I've got these as well. I'm I'm waiting for a couple of uh, Merlins as well, so we'll see how that turns out. Okay, we've looked at the the Grenadiers box set, and in summary, yes, it's a nice kit. I was surprised that. They use the British infantry plastics um, with the me metal attachments. Uh, I think it should have been more obvious based on, on the box, but that might just be down to me not reading the box properly, really. So, yeah, no, it's, it's, they're a fine model. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, I am disappointed in the fact that you only get one Tesla rifle and one underslung grenade launcher um, in the sets. I ma did manage to get... Um, two Tesla rifles and two loaders and thus the two um, underslung grenade launchers as they those three components will come on the same metal spruce so like I say I was managed to get more of them for my squads and I have actually got two squads and they've both got two Tesla rifles so I did manage to get enough for mine bear in mind Warlords don't actually supply them separately and I think it would be a good idea for Warlord to actually supply those individual sprues for the Tesla rifles, the loaders and the underslung grenade launchers. So that is one thing that would make this set better is either provide the second one with the set or make it make them available so you can actually buy them. I know everyone will be going with the assault rifles with these and I, I have I've assembled them with assault rifles but don't forget you can have them with rifles so they can be grenadiers with rifles. Um, just rifles on their own. They don't have to have assault rifles. They have a few extra special they have a few special rules beyond the normal infantry um, section. So there there is a slight advantage of having them with the rifles, but to get the f I think to get the full benefit would have assault rifles because I I don't actually have many assault rifles in my army. So, so yeah, so that is the, the Grenadier box set. So here are my Grenadiers. Um, I have, haven't based, I haven't finished basing them yet, but uh, they're not the best paint job in the world, but uh, they're good enough for tables top standard. Um, I've tried to do a bit of effect on the end of the Tesla guns there, and there's some some ammunition uh, loaders. Um, so yeah, um, I, I have assembled them all with the. Oh, where's the guy? There's the guy. I've assembled them all with the um, assault rifles, and then you see that I've got. There's a couple there with underslung grenade launchers on there. Um, it's a pretty basic uh, paint scheme. Like, I'm happy with it, and it uh, it's to my level. So, so, um, so yeah. So that that's that, that's the grenadiers. I have got a second set. There's the second set. Again, I've managed to get. Two Tesla rifles with them, and the and two loaders, and there's two underslung grenade launchers there as well. So that is the quick view of, of my current Grenadiers painting status. Um, so bear in mind that none of these models were uh, supplied free of charge. I had to pay for all these models, um, but they did come from uh, Warlord. So so yeah, they they are the Grenadiers. Uh, if you like, if you've liked this video, please uh, click and click the subscribe button, and uh, hopefully I'll end up making some more. Okay.